Tonight is in Dumfriesia to encounter a creature that hasn't changed one bit in millions of years. Some even call it a living fossil. It's called the Triops. Thank goodness for that. I thought you were talking about Bruce. Oh, Matt. <laughs> the British Isles. During the Triassic period. A land ruled by prehistoric giants. Now long gone. But there is a species that's still here. For over 200 million years, it hasn't changed in size or appearance. These prehistoric beasts are triops, the oldest creatures on Earth. Recently, triops have been discovered off the west coast of Scotland in Calaverock, only the second population of these living fossils within the UK. Dr. Larry Griffin from the Wild and Wetland Trust monitors the numbers of these triops. Well, I am very excited indeed because I haven't seen these things in the wild. They should hopefully be sitting up in the shallows, maybe in uh, some of these cattle prints here. Ah, what? What? He's joking. See over there, um, it's the slight shape just off that little ridge of mud there. I can see it. Is yeah, that pale shape? It. Yeah, it's quite a large one actually. Are they sort quick? Of, they're, they're, fairly, they're fairly nippy. Oh, that yeah. is incredible. Look at that. That's the first time I've ever caught a prehistoric monster. My goodness, that is a fair beast, isn't it? Triops are crustaceans and are related to crabs, lobsters and even our woodlice. With their hard exoskeleton, sensory antennae and specialised limbs, they feed on anything from dead animal matter to cow dung. And the three eyes, you can see why they're called triops, because they've got these three little eyes at the front. Two eyes on either side are their actual eyes, and then there's a tiny one right in the middle, which is a single little eye. What is really amazing to me is that you know, here we are, and we as a species evolved only a fifth of a million years ago on the plains of Africa. This thing, 200 million years old. I mean, what a survivor. Yeah, yes. I guess that design is still suited to this sort of habitat. It's quite a simple habitat. There's not a lot of other kind of competitors in there and there's been no tinkering with it, particularly by evolution. It's, it's stayed as it is. And as they say, if it ain't bust, if it ain't bust don't, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. It's just amazing. Living in shallow pools, they have a remarkable life cycle. An individual triops is both male and female, meaning that you only need one triops for a population of these beasts to develop. Their eggs can withstand extreme weather conditions and even lie dormant in the mud for over 10 years, waiting for the conditions to be just right. This, as a species, makes them pretty bomb-proof. It does look prehistoric, it really does. Larry has been able to learn more about the specialised existence that triops lead using captive populations. Right, now, you've got some here which you've been growing up. Yeah, these guys are, what, weak to ten days old? <laughs> so very small, really. They are amazing to watch, aren't they? Larry is also hoping to find undiscovered triops populations in other parts of the UK. What we want to try and establish is really getting to the bottom of whether they are more prevalent across the country, whether they have actually got a wider distribution than we're currently seeing at these two disparate points 400 miles apart, basically. And so you're, you're hoping that, that it isn't simply a site in Scotland and a site in Hampshire, that there are little sites all over England and Wales and Scotland? That's it, yes. We'd really like to get a firmer hand on whether there really are a few more little relic populations that haven't been found yet. So it'd be quite easy to overlook them, it really would. Mm. So the next time you're out walking in a field that looks like this, keep your eyes peeled in the puddles and pools because you might have just walked past the UK's only living fossil. 200 million years it's old. It's incredible, Absolutely isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. And George is here uh, with some more living creatures with prehistoric origins, uh, and which what we're calling this. George's living... <laughs> Except I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> no, I, would, I wouldn't be screaming normally. 
No. no. But the first like one has quite a scary name. <laughs> the first one is called the Vampire Squid, and it isn't a vampire, and it isn't a squid, actually. It's, a, it's an octopod. It's in the same group as octopuses. Right. And it has this amazing cloak between its legs, which it can draw over itself, which is black, yeah. and hide itself from enemies. It has these soft spines. And that's, that's an ancient animal. The next one is this amazing animal, which is the horseshoe crab. Now, the horseshoe crab is probably unchanged in shape and function for 300 million years. It, they would look just like this. There are now four species on Earth, and this one comes from the eastern seaboard of the US, and it's now under threat because they're, they're hunted for fish bait, they're used in research, and folks are afraid of them. But actually, they're incredibly harmless. And you found that one, didn't you? I found this one on the shore in New Jersey. It was a bit smelly at the time. But so they've been around for 300, 300 million, million years, yeah. and now humans uh, are... They're now under threat from us. And the last one is a, is a very interesting shrimp, which has eyes that are ten times more acute than ours. They're actually able to see ten times more of the spectrum than we can. And they hunt their prey. Here's a, a crab that was hidden under a glass. And they smash with these front legs that just basically have the same energy as the shell out of a gun. And they just smash everything and then eat it. And that's been around virtually unchanged for about 350 million years. But ancestral forms. Unbelievable It's amazing power. they can smash glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can, I mean, looking at that, it's like body 